Hi, and welcome back to the Why Oh My oh podcast. This is Janine Steen, your host, hoping to answer your questions about the who, what, where, when, why, and how when it comes to myofunctional therapy. Disclaimer. All content, details, as well as education shared on this podcast are the opinions of the speaker and are for informational purposes only. Please consult with a certified medical professional regarding any questions or concerns, as this podcast should not serve as a diagnosis or replace the information received from a healthcare provider. Hi, and welcome back. I wanted to take today to talk a little bit about tongue health. Um, I know the last few episodes I've spoken a lot about um, tongue placement and tongue position and um, the structures of the ca- oral cavity as it relates to sleep disordered breathing. Um, but before we're even worried about all of that, um, I'm thinking about do people know what the tongue should look like? And do they realize that when you stick out your tongue, um, there are different things that you can look for that may indicate um, certain issues. So for example, especially when I was young, if um, I told my mom a lie and I, she would tell me to stick out my tongue. And if there was white on it, that meant I was lying. So between my tongue being having white on it when I stuck it out and don't forget my nose growing, um, she was able to tell that I was lying. Um, obviously, that is not true at all. Um, actually, when you see white on the tongue, it could um, be an indicator of um, thrush or some sort of fungus or uh, bacterial infection. Um, it can um, definitely speak to some medical diagnoses. Um, so if you are seeing white on your tongue on a regular basis, uh, it is important to see a doctor um, or a dentist and have it evaluated. Um, some people have really deep ridges or grooves on their tongue. Um, and what's important with those grooves and ridges is that when a person eats, the food particles get stuck in those ridges. And I can't tell you how many people don't realize that they should be brushing their tongue um, just when they brush their teeth. And especially if you have those ridges or um, some type of inflammation or coating on the tongue, um, I definitely want to make sure that you are brushing your tongue regularly. Um, most people, when they think about brushing their tongue, they want to brush it forward in their mouth, um, outside of the mouth, I should say. And as a myofunctional therapist and as a rule, I usually will tell our patients to brush our tongue um, from the tip to the back or the tip to the root or the base um, of the tongue towards the back of the mouth because I want to instill proper tongue placement and our goals are never to have the tongue thrusting forward, but instead sitting uh, inside the mouth. For some individuals, when you stick out, they stick out their tongue, um, their tongue looks scalloped. And for those people, it's typically secondary to the suction between their tongue and their teeth. So those scallops or the scalloping is actually indentations of their teeth on their tongue. Um, we often see this with individuals that have really weak tongues or flaccid tongues. Um, or if they are utilizing a tongue sucking motion to help with swallowing, you'll start to see those ridges. Uh, many times people look at that and think, oh, the tongue is too big for the mouth or it's unlarged, you know, uncommonly um, big. And that's not really what I see in my experience. My experience is typically that the tongue appears big because it's weak and sitting in a flaccid state. Um, and with exercises and improving the lateral margins of the tongue, we can improve co the contraction of the tongue while it's sitting in the mouth and um, eliminate the, that scalloping. Um, however, there are definitely times when the scalloping is occurring because not only is the tongue against the teeth, but there's not enough space for the tongue. Um, and when that happens, that's when we're typically talking about an individual um, being recommended or seeking a consultation for a palate expander. 
I hope I was able to give you some insight and answer some of your questions regarding myofunctional therapy. Please stay tuned and listen to our Myo Minute and tune in to our Talk the Talk interviews with the many different medical, dental, and rehab professionals as they elaborate or answer your questions and address your concerns directly, especially when it's related to speech-language pathology and myofunctional therapy.